Welcome back, everybody. They train for our country. Now they might be forced to give up praying at public events. Americans United for Separation of Church and State wants to end prayers at West Point Military Academy. The group claims they have been uh, seeing some complaints about praying at official events. However, West Point leaders say, although praying is a tradition, it is also voluntary. Executive Vice President of Family Research Council, Lieutenant General William Jerry Boinkin joins us now. He spent 36 years in the U.S. Army. Good to see you, sir. Hey, it's good to be with you this morning. Here is a quote from this group. West Point cadets should be able to train for service in our nation's military without having religion forced upon them. Academy officials must respect the religious liberties of all cadets who should be free to make their own decisions about prayer without government coercion. As for those two points, religion forced upon them and government coercion, what is your reaction to their complaint? Well, first of all, Mr. Lynn and his organization have, uh, have attacked the military a number of times, and uh, they are a very anti-Christian organization, and that has been their pattern. Uh, secondly, there is no coercion. Uh, but what Mr. Lynn is trying to do is attack the last bastion of traditional American values. And many of those values came out of Christianity and the whole idea of prayer uh, within the military as a whole, but West Point specifically, uh, I think is something that uh, Mr. Lynn wants to de destroy that tradition because of the influence of Christianity in our military as well as uh, in our society. Is religion ever forced on cadets at West Point? Absolutely not, nor anywhere else in the military. And uh, if Mr. Lynn would spend the time to understand the First Amendment and the uh, how the First Amendment was written, what it was intended to do, it was actually intended to protect religion from government interference. Mr. Lynn's understanding is obviously skewed, and what he's trying to do is destroy the last vestiges of, uh, of Christian influence in the last institution that maintains those traditional values. And Lieutenant General, you say if this succeeds, it would have impact going well beyond uh, military procedural uh, um, ceremonies and such. Where else would it impact uh, public prayer? You know, the military has been the anchor of our society. When, you know, as America strays off in different directions, you can always look back to see what, uh, what we were, what America should be in terms of the American values. And what this will do is impact our society as a whole when we no longer have at least one entity within the American society that has maintained traditional values to include the values of the First Amendment uh, or the right uh, to worship freely. There is no coercion at West Point, and uh, I think Mr. Lynn is, uh, again, he's anti-Christian. His organization is trying to destroy those traditions and the influence of Christianity. Lieutenant General William Jerry Boinkin from the Family Research Council, thanks for being here. Good to be with you. Coming up, fights breaking out.